Guys, we are going to be talking construction speed today. This is the second of the little Need for Speed mini series where I'm focusing on the three major components of Lords Mobile, research, construction, and training, all from a speed perspective. So we're thinking efficiency and we're just running through gear, heroes, spec, so that we make sure that when we're getting these things done, that we're getting them done as quickly as possible. That's really what Lords Mobile is about. So diving right into construction the very first place that we're going to start off with construction construction really impacts everything right and you can see even having played right now we're sitting in may i've started playing in august um so a long time i'm still constructing my resource buildings it takes a long time right so you want to make sure that you're thinking about these things especially for you guys that haven't gotten to castle level 25 getting all these things straightened out for that is going to be really helpful because it is going to save you days in your construction Something else to be mindful of is there is construction research that you should definitely max out uh, in your economy tree. It's one of the very first researches. You can see that when you max it out, you get a 70% increase in your construction speed. So very, very helpful and beneficial. Or construction in general, you want to make sure that you are maxing out your construction talents. So you're going to quickly go through your talent tree and make sure that you are maximizing those. You can see quickly here, Maxing out your construction speed too gives you a 65% increase in construction. So it's massive, right? Same thing with construction one. It's going to give you a big help, not quite as large as construction two, of course. But what you want to do is max out both uh, before you are popping on your big construction. Very, very important and something to be mindful of. The second thing that we're going to talk about is your gear. So very similar to what we did last time. Let's use our filter. Let's go into our construction speed and check out what gear we have available to us. So the very first stop is your head is your Nacero's mask. Nacero's in general kicks major butt when it comes to construction speed. So you want to get those Nacero monsters down. You want to make sure your guild is actively hitting those guys to try to get additional materials for your gear. Nacero's is very, very good. Um, it is giving you a 10% increase in your construction speed. It also has pretty neat uh, increases in travel speed, army capacity, and resource gathering. Same thing, Lightning Guard is another one that gives you a 20% increase in your construction speed and also has a 50% gold production rate increase. Pretty cool, very helpful. It's extremely helpful if you're making an alt, I will say. I actually have this guy on my alt uh, to try to help me kind of progress it and move it forward quickly. Again, this is a Naceros, um type gear. So, you know, back to the point, Nacero is very important if you're thinking about construction. Um, and again, all this gear um, is going to buff also from a resource gathering perspective, which is also very, very helpful. Um, if you're gathering resources, working on your something like your lunar flutes. Griffin Walkers, another one that I mentioned in the research video. This one has a construction and a research boost. So I actually really like Griffin Walkers. They're one of the earlier pieces of gear that I crafted. They're very, very helpful. So highly recommend Griffin Walkers. Um, for your main hand, nothing here really speaks to me all that much. Um, the Terror Lash is 10%. Don't really recommend um, anything within the terror space just because seeds are really, really hard to come by. Um, so it's tough. Offhand, the Griffin Talon is another pretty good one. Construction speed of 17.5. It also has a gold production rate. Um, I have this for offhand as well. I find it really helpful. It is really helpful from a construction speed perspective. Um, but again, this is going to be the type of gear that's going to be difficult to be able to, to make for free-to-play players at a golden level. Um, and then for accessories, it's all about the Sentinel circlet. You're going to see everyone pop this on. That is a 25% construction speed. So as we were thinking about research and our lunar flutes, this is kind of the lunar flutes little brother when it comes to construction. Sentinel circlet, you can have three of these. These boosts are going to stack and look at the materials that it needs. It needs linen, you can get this from fields. It needs coil, you can get it from rocks and it needs metal that you can get from veins. So it is very free to play friendly and you can get this through gathering. And if you have some of that Nacero gear that's going to help you with your gathering speed, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. So definitely recommend the Sentinel circlet. Uh, for construction. So basically you would pop those on right about the time that you're about to pop on a construction. Then let's say right after that you do a research, put on your research gear, pop that gear on. That's really the way that you should be using your gear. Uh, you do not need to sit in this gear 
for a very long time. The next piece that we should look at is going to be our heroes to see which heroes are going to help our construction speed. The big guy, he is the quintessential pay to play hero. He is the one that is introduced to every new player uh, and he gives you a pretty significant construction boost. Um, he is going to give you 30%, which is pretty good. Um, he is the type of hero that uh, you can move up pretty quickly, I think. I think he is the cheapest hero to be able to get to Golden. And as you're moving him up uh, with the packs, you do get additional materials that you can equip that are going to give you more experience. Um, I think some of them might have additional buffs. So it's pretty good gear that you can equip, especially if you're a newer player. It makes sense to get Big Eye like early on. He also has really great infantry boost. So he's a good one to get. Next up is Witch Doll. Again, my underappreciated little Witch Doll. She has a construction speed boost buff as well um, and research and training. So she's someone that I mentioned before. I really feel she's underappreciated because she does help across the board. Maxed out, she is going to give you a 20% increase in your construction. Uh, she is a pay to play hero, but a very, very good one when you're looking at these specific stats. And something to mention is these are administrative stats, guys. So you don't necessarily need to have that hero equipped to be able to take advantage of the research stats or the construction stats or the training sets. Sage of Storms is a free to play hero. He also has a construction speed boost maxed out. He will go to 20%. He is very, very helpful. Um, I definitely would say he's a good character to focus on. You can get him pretty early on in the game and start working him. Um, I would say though, from a free to play perspective, he isn't my number one pick um, for his construction boost. I feel that there is another one who will be coming up in a second that is probably better than Sage of Storms to prioritize. And here she is, Scarlet Bolt. She also has a construction boost very similar to Sage of Storms, but she also has an energy boost uh, for your monster hunting. So early game, she actually would probably be better because she's going to help you with your monster hunting um, aspect as well as giving you the construction boost. So it's more of a two for one versus Sage of Storm of Storms that only gives you that construction boost. Um, and quintessential to understanding this, I keep saying this because this question comes up a lot. These boosts are administrative. You see how it says administration under construction boost? That means you do not have to have that hero equipped to be able to take advantage of those particular boosts. But things like infantry defense boost, those are all things that to be able to take advantage of them, you are going to need to have that hero in your army when you're sending it to attack or on your wall if you're going to be defending. That is it for the heroes. So the last piece is thinking about the boost. So there are also turf boosts for construction. They're build boosts. There's 10%, 20%. Again, you can get a lot of these from things like packs. Uh, very similar to the way you would do for research. You want to make sure that you are hopefully popping on um, at least more than one construction uh, during that one hour time period so you're able to maximize the use of those particular boosts. And guys, similar to research boosts, uh, there are wonder vassal titles that you can take advantage of. So if you are going to be doing construction, you would want to ask for the engineer title, assuming you either your guild is holding base or you're friendly with the guild that's holding base. Uh, and lastly, there's also kingdom boost. So there is a 10% build boost. It lasts for four hours. The overlord needs to pop this on. It costs 1200 gems. Very, very beneficial. If you see this bad boy kind of coming on and you happen to have your own um, build boost for your turf, definitely try to stack it and then try to pop on some of those big constructions. So if you're going for castle level 25, that's kind of the quintessential one. Think about that. Uh, because you can take some advantage from having those boosts. Let me know if you have any additional questions down below. Thank you so much for watching.